Gory Stories is powered by Interlock Broadheads. With over 20 years of experience in the outdoor community, Corey has been able to bottle up some amazing memories. It's time to open up that bottle and share with you Corey's stories. Do you have a wife that uh, went out and shot a, a really big deer and got it mounted, put it on the wall, and it nags you day in and day out that she's got the biggest buck on the wall? Well, this is a story about how I beat my wife. Because see, the OMG buck that she shot years back was definitely the ruler of the house on our wall for many years. I'm not known for shooting big deer. See, the first 130 to walk in or 125 or even a big two-year-old, I let the arrow fly or squeeze the trigger. I like to kill deer. And I'm not, uh, I'm not really good at being patient and waiting for those big mature bucks like some of the other guys on this channel. Well, this one particular year, uh, we had a lot of really good deer in the area and I made up my mind that when I got to Kansas, I was gonna beat Joy one way or another. So I drew a tag once again for Kansas and headed out. I'm hunting with my good buddy, Jesse Dunlap. This one particular farm we were hunting has some great genetics. Um, just a couple years back, uh, he shot 170 inch eight point. Um, and uh, you know, this farm just usually generates really good deer. I just can't, uh, can't be patient enough on them, on them big ones. I'm from Pennsylvania, man. It's really tough for me to do. The weather was perfect. I climbed up in the stand one afternoon. We had one trail cam picture of this great big deer that we thought would be over 170. And uh, got up in the tree uh, about one o'clock in the afternoon. It was uh, um, just a beautiful afternoon. And um, I had a feeling today was gonna be the day. About this evening, self-filming. Not always my favorite thing to do, but uh, Kemi was baking cookies. I left her go. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. November 1st, baby, back in the stand, Kansas. Afternoon set. It's early and uh, hoping one of these big bucks will walk in. I got up in the stand, had a lot of deer walking around me, a lot of small bucks. They were doing their thing, chasing does around. It was really cool to watch. And then out the corner of my eye, with a lot of daylight left, I saw a movement. Well, this buck started coming in. I'm like, holy smokes, that's the big one. So He's in the camera frame. I gotta make sure everything's right. My heart's racing. I just beat Joy. We did it in kids. Holy shit. Jesse! <laughs> I gotta tell you, when I seen that thing fall over, uh, I couldn't wait to call Joy and tell her the news. I beat you. I finally beat you. Yes, <laughs> I got that big one. <laughs> oh, Corey, I'm so happy for you. I don't know if he's gonna beat yours or not, but he's the one with the split, all the brows and all the, the 20 some pointer, and he's laying 40 yards from me. <laughs> did you get it on film? Oh, you're damn right I did, and it's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I can't tell you how truly excited and blessed I was at the same time, and it was bittersweet. 
the rivalry that Joy and I had these past six years was something that was incredible. It pushed me and pushed me and pushed me. Holy points. <laughs> When Corey called me that he got the big deer in Kansas, I was ecstatic. I was very excited for him. It didn't matter that he beat me. I was just happy to see that all his hard work had finally paid off. I think he's going to be right there, buddy. You think he'd be right close to Joyce? Yeah. Do you really? Yeah, he's going to be right there. Well, I got out of that stand. I walked over and I was blown away. This thing had points coming out of its brow tines all over. And, um, you know, the only thing on the back of my mind was, is this the one to beat Joy? Thanks to Jesse and Terry and everybody for for letting me come out here and 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 chase these big deer because a lot of people say that I'm not a big deer hunter or big deer killer, but when I put my mind to it, we can get it done. Well, we got it back to the house. Jesse wasted no time. He got out the tape and uh, he taped this thing up. And uh, 175 inches later, I finally beat Joy. I'm not known for killing big deer. I kill a lot of deer, but when I put my mind to it, I can get the job done. Um, in fact, I even beat that deer this past year, but we're gonna save that story for another day. Corey's Stories is brought to you by Luminog, Mike's Archery, AMS Bowfishing, Tacticam, Black Widow Deer Lures, Scent Thief, Outdoor Edge Knives and Tools, Boomerex Air Guns, Excalibur Crossbows, Honda Generators and Honda Marine, and by these great partners. Corey's Stories is powered by Interlock Broadheads, American made and deadly by design.